Greetings, family. Welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure that you tap that subscribe button before you walk out that door. Join the family. We would love to have you. If you're already a part of our soul family, thank you so much for being here. You are loved and you are appreciated. Family, I have a very important message to deliver to you today from the ancestors. Today we're using a different deck, which I'm very excited about. We're using the Tarot of the Moors. Regardless of what deck we use, know that these are collective readings, which means that everything may not fit for everyone. And if it does not fit for you, it's okay to leave it behind. Do not force it to fit. You have the option to scroll through my other readings to see if you can find another one that resonates with you more, or you can book a personal reading with me down below at the link in the description box. You can you can also choose to insert your energy into this message by tapping the like button, dropping a comment, or sharing. Anytime you engage with these videos, you are doing what is called an energy transfer. If this message does fit for you, please do not forget to tap that like button, show some love and support. So I've already cleansed the energies and all negative and monitoring spirits are being returned to sender where they belong. So without further ado, let's get into it my beautiful beautiful people we're starting off this reading with the teacher card in reverse we could have some taurus energy here we could have some capricorns we could also have some virgos because this card is very heavy on earth energy so this card speaks about divine wisdom spiritual authority counseling education and morality at this time many of you may be experiencing dreams and remember you don't need to be asleep to have a dream a lot of you can be seeing things while you're up and alert you may be kind of tuning out of conversations or zoning out and you're not really realizing what's happening but at that moment you are experiencing sort of like a traveling through different realms it's like astral traveling without realizing that you're astral traveling like you're not just zoning out because you have adhd okay and even though they may try to tell you that that's what it is most times it's because you are spiritually gifted okay again we're talking about divine wisdom here spiritual authority and so for a lot of you your guides and your ancestors are coming to you because they want to get your attention right they're trying to help you realize that you're here for a bigger purpose so you're not zoning out at work or school because you're bored or because you have adhd or some other type of i don't know diagnosis that they try to put on everyone all these with all these labels but it's because you're not meant to be doing what you're doing like you're genuinely just above <laughs> what it is that you're doing so for some of you they also want you to be more flexible they want you to be more open-minded they want you to be less argumentative so some of you may have been bossed around as a child or in your early adulthood like you kind of just went with the flow and you allowed people to tell you what to do and so now you're like no i'm doing my own thing i don't care what nobody has to say and that's cool you know stand on business set your boundaries be who you are but be open-minded like i'm hearing listen more speak less you know like when it comes to certain conversations sometimes it's okay to just be quiet and observe because remember our guides and our ancestors speak to us through other people most times so just imagine how many messages you would miss if you never want to hear what anyone else has to say imagine how many messages you would miss if you were never open to other perspectives I'm also hearing that many of you are asking questions and looking for answers. You're looking for your truth. And sometimes the truth will be coming to you by way of someone that you least expect to bring it to you. So that's why they really want you to be more open-minded and more flexible, okay? So this card is a major arcana which means that it represents the spiritual journey of the soul your life lessons your karmic lessons things that you are here to experience and learn so if you are here to be the teacher or you are here to learn just imagine how much you're missing out on your purpose by being closed-minded 
So I'm hearing open up your mind, open up your heart, open up your soul and be willing to learn, be willing to do things differently, okay? Moving forward, we have the Six of Swords upright. And with this Six of Swords, there's heavy Aquarius energy here. We could also have some Geminis. We can also have some Libras as well. So the air energy is really heavy with this card. And it makes sense because the card speaks about travel, movement, departure, liberation, deliverance. So going with the wind, you know, you're flowing. And so I feel like the messages that they're trying to tell you to open up your mind so that you can receive are going to give you the guidance that you've been looking for. Because the card says your vision and plans for the future now seem obtainable. You need a change of scenery, an adjustment to how you think about things, bring about a sense of self-worth and renewed self-confidence. So yeah, once you open up your mind and you start to try to see things differently, I feel like it's not only going to change your perspective about the world around you, it's also going to change your perspective about yourself, how you see yourself. You're going to realize, wow, I've undergone a lot of programming and that's why I think this way. This is why I don't think that I'm attractive. This is why I think that I'm broke. This is why, because you have been programmed to accept societal standards as the norm and societal standards are definitely not the norm. They all fit an agenda. All right. So I feel like that, that is what's happening for you right now. Moving forward, we have the Star card upright and the Ace of Swords upright. And these cards go together really well. So I'm going to break everything down for you. With this Star card, there's air energy here. And it speaks about optimism, hope, prospects. And so it says hopes, wishes, and desires. You are willing to give others the benefit of the doubt. You try to see the best in the worst of situations. Now is the time to come from behind the shadow of others. You are the star. It also says it's time to pull off your blinders. Harsh words or behaviors lessen your enthusiastic spirit. So yeah, again, with needing to be more flexible, right? Needing to be more mindful of how you speak, how you think is very important because your words are spells. That's why they're spelled, okay? And your words and your thoughts can manifest. So be very mindful of how you are treating the people around you and be very mindful of how you are treating yourself. Now, with this Ace of Swords, it speaks about confusion, overanalyzing, negative thinking. Upright, it represents a clear sense of direction and purpose. It's saying that you need some type of mental stimulation, but it also suggests making new plans, ideas, and strategies. Now, the card came out in reverse, and in reverse, it says confusion, overanalyzing, negative thinking. And so, again, I feel like some of you really need to focus up. You really need to work on opening your mind or even bringing peace to your mind. Like, some of you are really lacking a sense of peace. I feel like with the teacher card speaking about being argumentative like someone is fighting like there's some type of arguments happening or discord and it's really starting to disrupt your peace you need to find peace you need a peace of mind some of you may be suffering from headaches or migraines as well or you may be feeling dizzy or you may be feeling lightheaded it's something with the head with the ori not being at peace the ori is your head your crown the Ace of Swords represents determination, intellect, mental focus, decisions, and triumph. So yeah, a lot of you really need clarity. A lot of you really need peace of mind because you have decisions to make, right? And especially when you're in a place where you're trying to find your purpose, you really need that peace of mind because answers will be coming to you. Messages will be coming to you. You need to really keep yourself in a higher vibrational frequency, not in a lower vibrational frequency. So distance yourself from anyone who brings down your mood. So now we have the juggler card here in reverse. And the juggler card speaks about being folly, unstable, spontaneity, carefree. So some of you are risk takers. Some of you are very impulsive. Like you do things without thinking and without planning. And although sometimes it's cool to be spontaneous, remember they're asking you to think differently they're asking you to start moving in a different way especially now that you're realizing it you have a higher purpose and a higher calling you will need to plan things out for the future 
I'm seeing you journaling. Some of you may need to start journaling as well. And so the card says, lack of commitment, incapable of self-control or maintaining the upper hand, the inability to complete what one has started, self-doubt and hesitation. So yeah, I feel like some of you really need to gain confidence, but you need to also write things down so that now you're planning these things and you know what's coming, right? Once you put these things down on paper, you are making it concrete. Also, that way you're more motivated to accomplish the tasks because now it's not in your mind anymore. It's on paper. So it, like you have this kind of obligation to want to get things done. And I feel like self-control in the last reading, we also spoke about somebody smoking too much weed. So I feel like that's another thing that can really bring brain fog and confusion. You know, everything in moderation is what I say, but start to look start to really analyze your habits so you can see what needs to go and what can stay so so we have the five of discs here and it came out in reverse so this card speaks about loss strain destitution worry illness and scarcity but since it came out in reverse it's a really good thing it says you're you're recovering from all those things it says recovering after hardship your health is restored. You cease living from paycheck to paycheck. So many of you have some money coming in. Once you start to change your mindset, because a lot of you are thinking negatively and they're asking you to stop thinking negative. They're asking you to be more open-minded, more optimistic. And so once you accomplish this, because this is a test for you, once you pass this test, you will be receiving money. And it may not just be money, it may also be resources. Like you're receiving anything that it is that you need. You're receiving whatever it is that you need that will carry you to this next level. So let's see what cards come out to close this reading. We have the two of discs upright and the eight of swords upright. So the two of, so the two of discs is Capricorn energy here. And it speaks about choices multitasking, alternation, and change. So some of you may need to hire some help with your business. Some of you will need to delegate tasks as well because again, you're gonna be receiving money. But I feel like it's gonna be money that is gonna require for you to spend money. So yeah, you may need to hire somebody to help you out so that you are not subjected to burnout. The Eight of Swords speaks about feeling trapped. With this Eight of Swords here, it speaks about freedom. So you are no longer being tied down to your responsibilities. Like you'll have all the resources that you need to move around freely. It speaks about being unrestricted. And so it also says you become less stubborn and you accept assistance from others. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you are starting to not only open up your mind and hear what other people have to say, you are more willing to ask for help because you realize you have a support system. You realize you have a community. And a lot of you who have your own businesses, you will be hiring help. You will need to hire help because your sales will be increasing and your business will be growing and taking off. This is so amazing because yeah, all of this comes after you make that conscious decision to open up your mind, right? And be more flexible, be more optimistic, think positively, change the way that you see things and you will reap the reward. That's all I have for you today, family. Sending you so much love and hugs. If this message resonated with you, please do not forget to tap that like button. Drop a comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. Don't forget, you can book a personal reading down below at the link in the description box. And don't forget to tap that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, family, peace and oneness.